In this video, we'll discuss how to use the Generate Image block inside of your automation workflow. The Generate Image block creates an AI-generated image based on a prompt provided. Once the block has been added to your workflow, you will see the block's configuration panel on the right. Let's configure the block to add a header image to a blog post. First, we'll add in the image prompt. These are the instructions that tell the AI what to generate. Since we want to generate a header image for the blog post, we can use the blog topic user input variable in our image prompt. We'll say, generate a header image for a blog post about topic. Make sure to use double curly braces when adding variables to your prompt. Next, we'll set the output variable. This is how the image will get stored and can be used in other parts of your workflow. We'll call this image. Note that you don't have to use double curly braces when typing the variable name into this field. Last, we'll select which image model we want to use. For this example, I'll choose Dolly 3. Now we need to make sure that the image gets displayed properly. At the end of the workflow, we'll add a display block to properly display the image to the user along with the generated blog post. Check out our video on using the display block to understand the basic markdown syntax. Now that we have the image variable and the blog variable inside of the display block, let's see how this looks to the consumer. First, we'll add in our blog topic. We'll say, modern AI applications. Then we'll tap next. And there's our blog. You can see the image generated at the top and the blog generated below. Thank you for watching this video about the generate image block. We'll see you next time.